Hello, I'm Lawrence Anthony, and in this video I'm going to explain some of the advanced features of the Antconc Concordance tool. Uh, the basic features are covered in another video. So I'm going to start by loading in a corpus. Uh, I'm going to go to File, Open File, and I'm going to select the um, subcorpus of the brown corpus which deals with journalism or press English. That's category A, B, and C. Another video shows you how to download and conk and get started with the software. So, as you learned in under a different video, we can do standard searches by just typing in words like report or reporting or reported or to report. Now one of the advanced features is uh, the search history. All the searches that I've just made are actually stored in the search box and you can access those by hitting the um, up or down arrow keys. Now if you want to select um, some of the results, for example to copy and paste into a spreadsheet software program for example, uh, first, you can select a word by just double-clicking on it, as you would in any word processor. If you uh, triple-click, it will select the line. Now, you'll notice that Anconc won't select right across because um, there's actually two um, hidden windows here, and that allows the results to be aligned properly in the middle. If you want to select the entire row, you would use the um, shortcut shift click. That will select all the row. If you do select again, you would select a group of rows. And if you use control click, then you will be able to select rows which are non-sequential. If you want to select everything in the results display, um, you may think of using Control A, but that would only select one of the um, uh, hidden windows in the display. So to select everything, you would use the shortcut Alt Control A, and that would select everything. Now, once everything is selected, we can then use another shortcut Control C, which is common on word processors, and that will then copy the results and you can then paste them into, for example, a word processor or an Excel sheet. So I'm going to paste these results into a text editor, Notepad. If I do this, you'll see the results appear there. And uh, if we extend the window, you can see that each row is on one line. Now, we can also uh, delete some of the, the rows if we like. For example, if we are not interested in one of the rows, for example, this one, I can then click the delete key and that will remove that line from the results. Uh, I can do the opposite. And if I want to keep one of the lines, I can select it and then hit the insert key and that will delete all the other lines and just keep that one line remaining. Now you've seen how we are able to search for uh, different words like report or reporting, but if you go to the advanced uh, search, we can do this in a slightly easier way. For example, here at the top you can say, you can see we have huge search terms from list below. If I activate that, I can then type in the words that I want to use all at the same time. Report, reporting, reported, uh, for example, to report. And then if I apply that, you'll, see, you'll notice that the normal search box is grayed out. But when I click start, it will uh, search for those terms that I just listed in the box. Uh, you can do a similar thing by loading in a file. So I can click load file. I can go to a file of search terms. 
that I'm interested in using. For example, you can see them now uh, there. That's just a plain text file with the search words that I'm interested in. And then if I apply, you can see that we can do a file based search like that. Another advanced search feature that we have is called the uh, context uh, search. So for example, if I go back now and just search for report with a star as normal, and then activate the context words and horizons, I can search for report, reporting, reported, and so on, within the vicinity of another word. For example, said, I can add this, or say, and add this. And then I can state from where to where this other word should appear. So for example, five words to the left, or five words to the right, of from five words to the left, to five words to the right of the search word. If I apply this and then hit start, you'll now see that we get um, just a few re results, but they are all in the vicinity of the word said, or said, or said. And you can see that we have this context word appearing in the neighborhood. And the last one here is say. Let's just go back to the uh, basic settings by deactivating the context words and horizons and producing a normal set of results. Now, AntConc has a few tool preferences for the concordance tool. So let's look at those now. If we go to tool preferences, uh, the first category is concordance. And you can see that we can display for example, the hit number, the quick display, the file name. If we deactivate one of these and click apply, then that column will then disappear, giving us a little more space to look at the results, for example. I'll go back and reactivate that. And then we can see the file appearing again. What we can also do in the preferences is to activate the option treat case in sort. Uh, normally when we sort results, uh, the results are sorted without interest in case. But if we click the treat case in sort and apply, th then when we create results like this and sort them, let's sort to the right to make this sort on zero, 1R and 2R to make this easier to see. You can see that the capitalized words are sorted first and then the lowercase ones are sorted next. Another tool preference option is to sort by characters instead of words. I'll activate that and show you what that means. If we apply this and hit uh, start, what we get uh, is a sort based on not for the first word to the right or the second word to the right, but the first letter to the right or the second letter to the right of the search term. So if I state this is now 1R, 2R, 3R and sort, you can see that now we're sorting the letters of the search. And this can be useful, for example, for investigating spelling and so on. Another tool preference option is to hide the search term in the, in the quick display. If we apply that option and do a search, then all the result search hits are hidden. And this can be useful for doing some exercises using these concordance lines. And one more option in the tool preferences is to put a delimiter around the hits in the quick display. Now the default is a tab, but you can change this to, for example, a colon, a semicolon, or a comma. Uh, this will, if we apply this and do a search, 
Now, I'll, I'll make the window size a little smaller so I can demonstrate this a little easier. Now, if I uh, copy these results, for example, to a spreadsheet tool, for example, Excel, and paste the results, what you'll see now is that the delimiter allows you to copy and paste the results, keeping the search word in its own column. Now, if we arrange these columns in the following way, then we can effectively re uh, regenerate the results from the uh, ANCONC concordance tool. And this is useful, again, for analyzing the data or um, putting the results in a paper. There's just one more preference which I should briefly explain. And that is the line break, break replacement option. Normally, when you create a set of concordance lines, uh, if there's a, a line break in the original file, it will be replaced with a space. And that's what you would normally expect. But we can also replace it with a different character, for example, a percentage sign. And if we do this and uh, create the results, what you'll see is that in certain places we have a percentage sign, like here. And if we look at the original uh, file, we'll see that at that point in the file, there was a, a line break. And that can be useful sometimes when you are doing an analysis of words. That may always occur just after a line break or just before a line break. The last thing to talk about is the wildcard feature. Uh, all the searches in many of the tools allow wildcards like the asterisk or star here. If we go to global settings and uh, look at wildcards, you can see a, a, a range of wildcards that we can use. For example, zero or one word or any one word. And if you use those in the searches, you can do that in, in an advanced search. And you should note that these wildcards can also be replaced by other characters, and then uh, it prevents an overlap with some of the search words or terms that you might be using. So that's the end of this tutorial on the advanced features of Anconc.